welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if it's your first time as you can see by the title today I'm gonna do a very quick and straightforward video on how to curl short hair I was honestly having such a hard time figuring out how to do my hair until I found a routine that is what I'm gonna show you today and let me just tell you it literally takes five minutes it's so quick it's so fast and now I want to have short hair forever because you can have this bomb hair every single day with literally just five minutes of your time so you want to know how to get super cute hair then keep on watching so starting with a curling iron that i love this one from baby liz has got to be my favorite and it's amazing i got it from amazon it's definitely pricier i mean not a hundred dollars pricey but it's like 50 ish i think which i know walmart and target offer like $20, $30 ones, but I think this one is really worth the extra small investment because it really makes the curls last forever. And as far as the width of this one is 1.25 inches, this one just gives you the right amount of the loose wave, which is exactly what we're going for. So my first tip when it comes to curling your hair is to plug your curling iron and let it sit for a while. Go do your makeup, go brush your teeth. I would give it maybe like five minutes, just let it run. You're gonna see that the waves that I do are like this quick. I put it on and literally as soon as I'm done curling it, I let go. So it's very important for it to be completely done heating up. In the past, I made the mistake to not let it completely get hot for like five minutes straight. And what happened is that my hair looks so different because it wasn't even done heating up. I would start on one side and then by the time I would be going into my other side, the curling iron would be way hotter than it was when I started so the waves will look super different. The next step would be to section your hair. So here is where the great news are. Since you have short hair, you really don't need to curl your entire head. I actually only curl like such a small section up here because you don't even see the bottom. Also, I have hair extensions right here. I currently have a growing bang so I had those put on my hair so it looks like I have no bangs. It's like all the same length almost. So yeah, we're gonna section our hair. It's only like, I would say maybe like two inches down from where you part your hair it doesn't even have to be very exact and it looks super cute right now all of this hair that you see right here you're not gonna do absolutely anything to it that's a great part about having short hair it's seriously so fast to do this it takes me five minutes so because I'm really OCD and it really bothers me all these hair that I don't need to curl I don't want it to get on the way so I like to hold that one with a little hair clips so now that you have that section you can let this one go and maybe like make sure everything is secure back there and let this one loose and this is the only hair that we're gonna be working with first things first you got to protect your hair against any heat this one is one of my favorites it's hot toddy from dry bar but if you're looking for a more affordable option I really love the Tresemme one we're gonna start with the section let's say like right here I don't really care about the thickness of the section that I grab whatever you want is fine so a few things to keep in mind we're trying to stay away from the end so maybe curl from here up and you're gonna see I'm literally gonna leave it on for like maybe one second and then let go because otherwise it gets too curly and that looks really weird with short hair in my opinion I think the looser the better so you're gonna have your curling iron and again leave the ends out you twist backwards and let go you see that let's try another one so again curling iron leave the ends out you curl up and you let go it really doesn't matter if you clip one like lower or higher you just gotta do it but remember to like not keep it on for too long just kind of let go as soon as you roll like that this one I'm gonna curl a little bit higher and you let go those are my little bangs can you see them they're so annoying so for me in my case I need to make sure those get blended in there you go and then this section and one two three let go oh that one's really pretty this one back here So once you're done with this side, don't mess with it, don't touch it, leave it as is. You need to let it cool down in this shape that it is right now. It looks super weird, but trust me, at the end it's going to look so pretty. And then we're going to move to the back. Curl. One, two, three. So for this side, I don't know if you noticed, but everything on this side was curled backwards. I personally like to curl everything towards the same side. I know some people like to alternate. That gives you more volume and I don't necessarily one volume because my hair is so short that I think if it's voluminous it might look a little too puffy and weird. So this side we're gonna curl backwards this way. 
So here's something that I personally like to do. So when you curl it, you clip it, you go back. When you release, I personally like to open and let go like that. Because if you release with it clipped down and you pull down, it's gonna really straighten your curl and I don't want that necessarily. At this point, I like to look at it and see if there's any pieces that are a little too straight and I can already see some in this. So I'm just gonna grab one top section and curl it quickly just to give it more volume. Make sure that the sections that you grab right now, like at the end, are very, very small because that will give it enough texture. And what you're going to do now with your hair as is, is spray it with some hairspray. My favorite is this one from Living Proof. It's called Flex Hairspray. Um, I've been using this for forever. I like to get the travel size because it's quite a pricey hairspray, honestly. And after you do your hairspray, you let go of the section that you clipped earlier. And then you just mess with your hands like this. Just try to like curl it with your fingers, make sure everything blends. And as you can see, you can't tell that the bottom is like untouched. So after that, I'm gonna go in with my two favorite styling products. They're both from Bumble and Bumble. The first one that we're gonna use is this texture spray, it's one of my favorite items. I like to grab my hair like this and spray it as I let go of my hair. So you're gonna see. And you obviously have crazy texture, don't worry, we'll, we'll make it look cute, but it's important to get all the volume that you want. Trust me, your hair is going to fly now by the end of the day anyway, so that's what it looks like with that volume spray. And then I go in with another Bumble & Bumble product, their liquid wax and finishing spray. So this one I only like to use on the days that I wash my hair, like today I wash my hair, I let it air dry and I style it. If you put a little too much, it can make your hair look super greasy. So I don't like to use this on second or third day hair, only on the days that I wash it. Seriously, a little bit goes a long way. I made the mistake to just go in and spray everything and I literally had to shower right after that because it ruined my hair. So I like to spray a tiny bit of this, but the texture that it gives your hair is so, so, so amazing. Also, pro tip, if you curl your hair and it's not even on both sides, which happens probably one out of three times to me, hair tuck and it immediately looks perfect <laughs> so for day two and day three hair i love to use triple sick from dry bar there's actually dry shampoo in this one and it also gives you volume so that's amazing honestly there's no way to mess it up because even if you think it looks weird just throw a bunch of volume spray on it and it's gonna look bomb and amazing um but yeah that is it for my tutorial i hope you girls enjoy this i know this has been highly highly requested so i'm very happy to finally bring this to you um and yeah that's all i have to say for now i'm gonna leave my instagram handle right here if you don't follow me already i share tips basically every single day daily outfit inspiration and everything in between so make sure you follow me and i will see you next time Mwah. bye